Sally. Oh, sorry, baby. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, baby. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, my baby. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> The problem for monkeys is that they live in a territory which has been an ancestral territory for many, many, many generations, going back hundreds and hundreds of years. They have to cross many roads and through gardens where dogs can attack them and they actually put their lives at risk every day just being able to forage the way they should naturally be able to. Is that towel? The magnitude of that injury is almost indescribable. Buddy? She's been driven over by a car. She's had a sedative. Oh, okay. She will go off to sleep now. Um. Hi, Dr. Eason. Um, we've got a young monkey here that's been driven over. It's got horrendous injuries to the hindquarters and the leg. Needs to be euthanized as soon as we possibly can. Can we rush it through to you? Okay. We're on our way. She's got a prolapse as well as the leg is broken and she's driven over completely. She was dragging herself through the property. Goodness, I think this one needs to be euthanized. Yeah. I think she must have been hit right there on hmm? the road in front of Buddy's house. Yes. It's Buddy's troop. She came to Buddy's house because you know Buddy's got the feeding station at the back. She dragged herself to the back where Buddy's got the feeding mm. station. Soon these monkeys won't be around for very long. People sometimes ask us why did we actually get involved with monkeys and it's really a matter of need. We saw the need, the monkeys are suffering and unless somebody stands up and does something they're going to continue suffering and we can't stand by and watch it. And then we had to catch him because he had to catch monkeys. monkeys too. You, you rescue monkeys yes, too. Yes, yes I am. <laughs>